darn frogs. And uh, tonight I'm gonna go out and do some, what I call uh, sissy camping, which just means sit camping at a campground. But I'm gonna do it solo tonight. And so it'll actually end up being my first solo camping uh, anywhere really, whether it be sissy camping, or just you know primitive camping out in the woods and stuff so uh, we're on our way now to uh, get some firewood it'd be nice to have a fire tonight and uh, what See that guy yeah I seen that deer that somebody dumped him he dumped me got all swollen up somebody either hit a deer or dumped a deer probably hit the deer but anyway we're gonna get some firewood and head out there and pick out a spot to camp and I'm gonna string up the hammock tonight and it's only supposed to get about 50 some degrees that's so why I got my under quilt, my over quilt. Should be a good time. <clears throat> It'll push a few boundaries for me, but I think I'm pretty much ready for that, and I don't think I'll have a problem with it really. So um, Jesse's gonna drop me off, and she's gonna come back home for something for a little bit, and then uh, she'll come back out and hang out with me just for a little bit, and uh, keep me company for. But she won't stay the night. Just keep me company, right? Yep. You go out there and hide in the woods, make spooky noises. Yeah. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Supportive. That's my support supportive wife she's gonna make sure that my boundaries are pushed uh, to full satisfaction and to uh, overcome just about every scary noise there is what kind of noise is you gonna make so I know what to look for Ooh. yeah that's pretty that's rich that's what I do. I'd be scared of that. <laughs> oh man that's all I got it might Turn not this be off. Like it's cold don't go I guess we can grab one of those little things or something. Then we can ride on it when we get up here to figure out which one we're, it's out of this little box, so over the left. We're on the, what do they call it, the honor system. So it's going to cost us 10 bucks. And I guess you put that on your, I guess I'll just put that on my pole out here, you know. I wonder if there's 10 bucks in it, you know. Put it on the pole. Failure to display permit stub may result in a fine. Always wear your life jacket when camping. This bad boy, or that bad boy, that ought to be just perfect. And it's pretty clear and open, nobody down that way, or really across. There's a bathhouse over there in the distance, and of course, I'm kind of close to the road. And there's the bathhouses over there, a little fire ring. This would be a good setup. This would be a good setup. Just these backing in skills. She asked me if I was going to record it back and then. I'm going to get some stuff going. Water. Oops, I threw that guy right over. Date. What is today? Three. 11 3. 17. And our license number is blink, blink, blink. They're rolling out. There goes my ride. <laughs> All right. Snuck back under quilt. Probably rated down to 40 degrees, something like that. And that's what I'm going to hook up under this. It's getting about 50, 50 degrees tonight. But, um, so far, something kind of fun about kind of doing on your own and stuff, even though this is about as safe as you're going to get. Um, we get this guy tied up under here. Um, it'd be easier to do 
without my um, rain fly deployed. But I think it could rain at any moment. It's getting dark. I know it's supposed to rain tonight, so I need to get the sun to there, get that rain fly deployed, and uh, so that way I can um, keep everything dry. But it's easier to put this up. And that rain fly is not over. Daylight's fading fast, uh, and over there it's kind of dark. It never shows up on camera. It's kind of a little dark. It's supposed to rain two different spots tonight, but I think each one showed up on the weather just like it probably wouldn't even be an hour long. But I wanted to show you my setup and show you something special. Very special to me. Uh, at least I hope it's special. <laughs> it better work. I mean, seriously, it better work. Here's my setup. You can see I kind of got it in porch mode right now, which is pretty cool. Um, I use my little trekking poles to do so. got that idea off of some folks on YouTube and stuff. And since I went hiking recently, I picked up some trekking poles. I um, always like something that can do uh, multi-use for me. Got my little light here, headlamp on my beanie, which is pretty cool. But also got my, finally found my headlamp. I don't want to bring you about this headlamp because the headlamp means something to me. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's things that you, you develop uh, a little bit of um, you know confidence, and confidence in, and it's just kind of is a little bit meaningful. Like I went through my whole kayak camping trip uh, over in uh, you know other side of the United States and stuff, and I use it several times. And so I like that headlamp. <laughs> so I like to have that headlamp with me. Uh, it's just something about it. But anyway, so I'm going to show you guys what is real special to me, assuming that the light helps. Now, oh, oh. I do it at least once, at least once. This is, let me preface it by saying I've had trouble with my toggles because I'm not very smart choosing toggles. I found something I think might work. Tell me what you think. What do you think about that? Huh? That's a bolt, if you can't tell. I don't want to hold it, don't you think? <laughs> oh, desperate, man. I'm desperate. Last two times I had it, uh, I tried a carbon arrow, carbon fiber arrow, which was obviously not the trick. I could have sworn I heard somebody say something about that. But so now I've, res <laughs> I've, uh, I've uh, resorted to using this bolt right now. I think it'll work. Again, my, um, I think I got that tied right. Man, my amp steel is on the knot, not on the toggle. So I think I've got that right. My drip lines on here. I don't think I'm gonna need them tonight, but I believe that this is gonna be my rain break. Let's keep everything else covered. But got my light speed straps uh, up here. I chose to put that strap on there first, just to keep the light speed strap a little bit cleaner, longer, and not so torn up. Uh, truth be told, I put those up first. I was like, why did I do that? I got the light speed straps. But anyway, so we're on porch mode. Got my super shelter on under there. And I have my uh, under quilt, snug pack under quilt, and snug pack top quilt. Um, almost, uh, almost did it again. Almost stepped on it again. I need like um, glow in the dark lines that can go down. I mean, it might be kind of silly, but um, actually, I have lights, and I'm gonna set up on this so I can see them at night. Uh, and, and I'll show you that. But right now, I need to work on. I've already eaten stuff, but <laughs> I need to work on going to get my fire set up. I did bring the Kelty tarp uh, just in case. I, but I don't think I'm going to need it tonight. Um, I think if, if it starts raining stuff, I'll just head yeah, on into bed. Um, I did bring an iPad. I know it's kind of taboo uh, to have your electronics out in the woods and stuff. But it's a sissy camp. Guys, a sissy camp. And, and I read books on my iPad and stuff. And I got a good book. Um, I don't remember the name of it because it's been a while since I read. But I really enjoy it. And I thought that would be great for sitting in a hammock and stuff. So, But um, my wife got me some my favorite Mountain House biscuits and gravy. Um, I tried some breakfast skillet. Not a big fan. There's my headlamp. Got some Folgers instant coffee for tomorrow, which is cool. Uh, my wife picked me up some of these. Uh, uh, Delight caramel macchiato. I bet I said that right. Uh, nice little creamers here, which is going to prove to be pretty nice. A um, little bag of Oreo cookies. My wife hooked me up. It's like Shane's wife. We got the same thing coming. Hook me up. Look at that big old bag of honey mustard and onion pretzels. I know we got some honey mustard and onion pretzel fans out there. Probably put that. I'm probably gonna put that Woobie on, and uh, just kind of help not breathe any cool air tonight and get this fire going. And um, probably by then, uh, my daylight's gonna be gone. But. All right, guys, we're working on it. Let's get that Pull out my total wood. 
got that from a buddy and uh, just put it in a tote for easy transport. See if I did. That tut, well, my camera turned off. You can kind of see my wood be tucked up or over there and all the way down here to this end on the outside. And it drapes both sides. So that ought to help me keep some of that cold air out, at least a little bit anyway. I wanted to do this because this is the last night before, right, let's turn this off. This is the last night before time goes back tomorrow, uh, falls back an hour because it's fall. And so then it becomes dark like at five o'clock. And so I thought, well, I could do it now. We're after work. Uh, we're got a little bit of time to set up and uh, and have a little bit of daylight to set up and get my fire started. Which I have no problem. I can set up at night. Um, I can do that, but uh, it just helps have a little bit of daylight and stuff. Plus, there's some other things going on that kind of prevent me from doing it um, another day. But it's not that I wouldn't camp overnight in the winter and stuff. It just has to be on a day where I feel like I have a little daylight, so I at least get set up. And things of that nature, but right now I'm gonna let this guy catch, and I'm going to get things put up that are electronic just in case it rains on me, and um, kind of settle down, get my chair out, and start relaxing. Probably can't, but these lights change all kinds of different colors and stuff. But it kind of goes up, outlines my tarp, rain fly, and it goes down. So it goes down on my lines here. So this way, uh, I won't end up tripping on them. It has a little more control to it. I got two of those. But Here's a little remote control to it. Changes all those different colors and and uh, fades in and out and all, all kind of different things that it does, which is pretty cool. But for night stuff, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. Well, it is quite unfortunate that uh, sleep has um, neglected to find me, and it's. What is it? Two twenty a.m. As far as underneath, it feels pretty warm, at least up by my torso. But down by my feet, I, f I forgot my wool socks. But down by my feet, uh, it, it's it's a little on the chilly side. It was a little on the chilly side, and so I have a um, I brought my Carhartt jacket, which I really like. My Carhartt jacket, I think I think they're great products. I think they make great jacket, and uh, it's always pretty warm. So I ended up laying that down there underneath my feet. Um, just to kind of add a little bit more uh, insulation part and that seemed to work out fine. And well, good morning, folks. It's probably, well, 6.30 a.m., but uh, it doesn't seem like it because it's still pitch black outside. So I fell asleep about 3, or at least before I stayed to get a little bit, of, uh, a little bit more broken sleep, but uh, still a little bit better than none. And... Uh, that's probably the wife's message, and she's letting me know that she'll be ready whenever I'm ready and stuff. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get up and uh, already have my morning constitutional. Um, but uh, it's always good to get that out of the way. <laughs> um, get up and get some camp chores done. Have some breakfast and, uh, and uh, then get on my way and stuff. So Hi right, folks, we're up, we're, we're out of bed, <clears throat> and we're breaking down camp in the dark. Still, it's like 7 a.m., and it's like pitch, pitch black out here. It's like a, a mist in the air. It did rain overnight, and I think there's a little bit left of a, a mist going. Everything's really kind of uh, damp and soaked and stuff, and so we're uh, just going ahead and trying to break down camp as best as we can. Um, but the good news is, is Hey, little fella. Nice. Um, my bolts help. <laughs> oh man, let's get out of the light. Because if they didn't hold, nothing was going to. Alright, so as it stands, this is going to be the first time I get to use my little stove there. This is one of those little $7 ones off of uh, Amazon or something like that, but she, she she heats some water, so that's what we're looking for. And uh, we're going to put a little water up in this guy. Some of that good stuff right there. Put her in a nice little insulated mug. And uh, we're going to sit down on this. Well, I guess I got my chair over there off in the distance somewhere. Where's my chair? Way over there. But uh, anyways, and we'll have ourselves some nice coffee uh, with some of that awesome 
creamer stuff my wife got me. So that is that is the next step. Um, it's starting to uh, uh, daylight starting to break a little bit, and so uh, that's good. I always like the morning times. I brought two gallons of water, which is overkill, but let's see. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna fill up what I think is gonna work in my mug. And then that's what I'll pour into the pot to be heated, so. That's got a little something in it, don't it? Let's blow that out. Now we'll pour our water in for our coffee. I think the problem is that I don't have like this needs to be screwed down a lot more because like that just kind of fizzled out on me a little bit and then um, I tightened it down as best I could or you know because it's hot up in there so I tightened it down here and I uh, got a little bit more going so I always uh, love these little videos that uh, <clears throat> my wife and uh, my four-year-old Amelia sends me. But uh, of course, you can't see nothing in this, but you can sure hear it. So let's see where it's going to be. I think the sound up here. But... Hi, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> Just a little six-second message, but uh, yeah, it can mean a lot to a, to a man. I think my battery's about to die and my cavalry is about to arrive. Maybe heard there, but uh, great first overnighter solo in Sissy Land at the campground, as I call it. There's my ride. See it? There she comes. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along and kind of join this with me. And we'll uh, we'll see you hopefully on the next video coming up soon. If you haven't already liked the old Facebook page, sometimes you can kind of keep up on some other things I'm doing that I may have not made a YouTube video for. So we'll see you guys.